Today I'm going to show you some simple steps to create an animal fur text effect. The process makes use of a real animal fur texture for maximum realism. In my example I'm using leopard spots, but a variety of results can be achieved by using source photos of different furry animal skins. The fur photograph will take care of the realistic furry effect in the centre of the text, but I'll also show you how to create a custom Photoshop brush to apply the soft hairs around the edges of the text to eliminate the hard letter edges. Depending on the animal your source texture is from, the result can depict a variety of colours and common animal prints to create a range of safari or zoo themed textiles. The stock photo of a leopard skin I'm using is available from Shutterstock, but there's a selection of free images available online. You could even photograph your own pet cat, dog or leopard while they're sleeping. Begin by creating a new document in Adobe Photoshop. I'm using a canvas of 2000 by 1500 pixels. Set out your desired wording in a bold font so there's plenty of letter area to be filled with the fur texture. Also be sure to increase the tracking to provide enough space for the fur around the edges. Right click on the text layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Noise and Median and enter a value of around 20 pixels to round off the corners of the text, which will give the effect a softer appearance. Download and open your fur texture in Photoshop. Select all, then copy and paste it into the main document. Hit Command and T for transform, then scale the texture to fit over a portion of the letters. Depending on the size of your wording relative to the scale of the texture, you could cover the whole word in one go, cover a portion at a time or even cover each letter individually. I need to cover my text with two pieces, so hit enter to apply the transformation, then hold the alt key while dragging the layer to make a duplicate of the texture image in order to cover the rest of the wording. Try to place the edges in the space between the letters, but where this isn't possible, flipping the texture so the texture repeats seamlessly will help avoid any hard lines. Select all the texture layer duplicates and merge them into one layer using the command and E shortcut, or the layer and merge layers menu option. Hold the command key and click the text layer thumbnail to load its selection. With the texture layer active, add a layer mask to clip the texture to the outline of the wording. This effect doesn't look very realistic with those hard edges, so let's create a custom brush to blend them in. Create a new document at 200 by 200 pixels. Select the brush tool and set up the tip at a small 5 pixel size and maximum hardness. In the brush settings, reduce the spacing to 1%. Turn on the shape dynamics option and set the size jitter control to pen pressure. Switch over to the pen tool and place a point in the top left corner. Add another point in the bottom right, but click and drag the bezier curve to produce an arc. Right click and choose stroke path. Select brush as the tool setting and select simulate pressure. Hit delete to remove the path to see a tapered line across the canvas. Repeat the process of drawing an arc with the pen tool. This time intersect the first line in a different direction. Stroke the path with the brush tool then delete the path. Add 3 or 4 more tapered lines in various directions. Then go to edit and define brush preset. Now you've created this custom brush you can skip this step anytime you want to create the effect again in the future. Close the temporary brush document and switch back to the main working canvas. Hold the command key and click the text layer thumbnail again to load its selection. Then select the marquee tool from the toolbar. Right click and choose make work path and use one pixel as the option. Switch over to the brush tool to set up the brush tip. Select the newly created custom brush and reduce its size to around 60 pixels. Reduce the spacing to 1% in the brush settings. Under Shape Dynamics, max out the Size Jitter, Angle Jitter and Roundness Jitter options to 100% to completely randomise the brush tip. Select the Pen tool and activate the Layer Mask portion of the Fur Texture layer. Switch the foreground and background colours around in the toolbar to ensure the mask will be painted with white. Right click on the artwork and choose Stroke Path, using the brush settings to apply the custom fur brush around the outline of the letters. Since this outline will be painted in white, it will restore the fur texture in the layer mask. This simple step applies lots of tiny hairs around each letter, to give the wording a realistic furry appearance. The effect is looking much better, but there's still a couple of additional effects we can apply. Double click the texture layer and add a bevel and emboss layer style. Set the depth to 500%, size at 100% and max out the soften slider. Alter both the highlights and shadows modes to soft light and experiment with the opacities if necessary. 
add a drop shadow effect and configure these values to 20% opacity, 20 pixel distance at 90 degrees, zero spread and 20 pixel size. Use the colour picker to sample a light hue from the artwork for the background colour, then fill the background layer using the command and backspace shortcut. Select the brush tool and change the tip to a large size with zero hardness. Add a new layer above the background, then paint a few dabs of white around the text area. Reduce the opacity to around 50-60% to to produce a subtle highlight to frame the artwork. Use the shortcut command Alt Shift and E to create a snapshot of the whole design on a new layer. Go to Filter, Other and High Pass. Enter one pixel in the High Pass options, then change the blending mode to Overlay. This finishing touch sharpens the details of the fur to enhance the clarity of the texture. The final result is a cute furry text effect with a realistic appearance. Have fun using this text effect to create all kinds of safari or zoo themed artwork using source photographs from a variety of furry animals. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.